Welcome to CLC Guru. In this session, we will discuss expression evaluation in C. Now we will solve the expression based on increment and decrement operator. What would be the value of A after execution of the following expression? Assume the initial value of A is 5. So the first expression is A plus equal to A plus 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 A. And the second expression is a equal to minus minus a minus a minus minus. And if you are considering here, this is a post increment operator and this is a pre increment operator. Already we have discussed the difference between post increment and pre increment. Similarly, post decrement and pre decrement. So that video link I will provide in the description for your reference. So post increment is nothing but first the value of this variable is used and then the variable value will get incremented. And pre increment is nothing but first the value will get incremented by 1 and then the incremented value only will be used. Similarly for post decrement and pre decrement. In post decrement first the value is used then the variable value will get decremented by 1. In pre-decrement, first the value of the variable will get decremented by 1 and then the decremented value will be used. So this is the purpose of the post-increment decrement and pre-increment decrement operators. So the first problem is a plus equal to a plus 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 a. So now this expression we can interpret as Step 1 and if you are considering the increment and decrement operators, it is right associative. The rightmost expression we need to solve first. So we will take this rightmost expression. This is a pre-increment operator. So first the value of the variable will get incremented by 1 and then the incremented value only will be used here. So here this is A. So here the value will get incremented by 1 and this incremented value only will be used here. And to solve this expression, we need to consider this also. So step 2, a plus equal to. So here the value of the variable will be used first and then it will get incremented by 1. So step 3, here the value of the variable will get incremented by 1. So the given value of the variable is 5 and if it gets incremented by 1 means a value is 6 here. And then a plus equal to. So here a value is 6. So this is pre-increment. So here a value will be 6. And here if you are considering in the memory location of a, now the value 6 will be updated. And here if you are using the variable value a means here also 6 will be there. Since this is the same variable. And then we need to increment the variable value. So step 4. So here a plus equal to 12 we will get. Afterwards we need to increment the variable value. And step 5. Now we will implement this shorthand assignment operation. So a plus equal to 12 means a equal to a plus 12. That is the meaning. And then the variable value will get incremented by 1. So now if you are considering a value is nothing but 6. In the memory location of a the value 6 will be stored. So here we need to apply the value 6. So step 6 a equal to 6 plus 12. So keep in mind here we have added two values. That's why we are getting 12. But in the memory location of A only 6 will be there. The value 6 will be stored. So we are using this value for this A. Next we need to get increment the value of variable A after executing this statement. So next statement step 7. So a value is nothing but 18 and then if you are incrementing a value you will get a value 19 in the next step. 
So previously in the memory location of A, 18 will be updated. Now after this increment, post increment operation, 19 will be updated. So finally, what is the value stored with the variable A means A equal to 19 after executing this complete expression. Next, consider the second expression. A equal to minus minus A minus A minus minus. So step 1 and all increment decrement operators are right associated. So we need to consider the rightmost expression first. So A equal to minus minus A minus since this is a post decrement operator first the value of the variable is used and next step the value of the variable will get decremented by 1. And step 2 if you are considering we need to solve this expression also then only we can able to execute this statement. So this is a pre decrement operator. So First, the value of the variable will get decremented by 1 and then the decremented value only will be used here. So, next is step 3. So, now here the value of A will get decremented by 1. So, the given value was A is 5. So, now if it gets decremented in the sense A value is 4. Next, A equal to, this is a post decrement operator. So now in the memory location of A, only 4 will be stored. So here also 4 will be there and this variable A also 4 we need to use. And then we need to decrement the variable value by 1. Step 4, so A value is 4. So here this statement will execute now. Now A value is 0 and then we need to decrement the A value. And the next step, if you are decrementing this A value, A value we will get it as minus 1. So finally, the variable value is minus 1 after executing this statement. So now with this two example, the working of increment and decrement operator is clear. Thank you for watching this video.